just want to begin by saying, uh, just uh, happy with our guys being able to come back and clean some things up from last week. Thought that uh, they were able to run the football better, tackle better, and the execution was solid on both sides of the ball. I think especially on defense, bring the work, uh, pressure on them, and uh, you know, suffocate them a little bit there. So that's a positive thing, and the special teams continue to be very consistent, which was good. good for the Hoosiers. Just, I thought the two penalties that I really liked. Yeah, I thought they were sloppy. So we got to get that cleaned up. Um, but uh, took care of business like we were supposed to. And uh, that's what it uh, you know, uh, That was our challenge to play to our standard. And whatever that happens, make sure that we're uh, getting better from the week before. So we'll obviously watch the film and figure out what we need to get cleaned up to ready for week number three. Questions? Okay. You, you mentioned the penalties. What did you respect Eastern Illinois? Do you feel like the this game was well timed in terms of being able to take some of the stuff you really needed to get cleaned up out of all state and, and work on it in a setting like this where you were always in control and the score was always pretty comfortable before obviously next week and then as you roll into victim play? I agree. I, I think you know we all know what's coming. <clears throat> so I, I think to be able to have a game like this um, after after week one and be able to address the things that we need to address and uh, to see them you know, improve the problem, which is key. Game matters. And, uh, the kids played hard, and our kids uh, executed well. So a lot of guys got involved. You know, that was also very important. And that's why I like the fact that we got to get a lot of guys touches on offense, and a lot of guys scored, a lot of guys, different guys made tackles, and were involved defensively on the special teams and, and the offense as well. So yeah, I think the timing of it was good for us. You know, it's kind of moving. How do you feel about uh, the Tom? Hold on. Back, the bat, and then we'll get you like. Yeah. Um, Coach, I know people are going to you know, talk about the opponent, but the bottom line is, at the end of the day, you know this team with barely over 100 yards. I think they maybe got one or two plays into your territory. They really dominated defensively. I mean, how pleasing was that for you? Well, you know, bottom line is this. You know, they uh, they averaged over 30 points a game last year. We got Arkansas and the SEC, so we're over 20 points against them you know, at their place. So, you know, we've been doing this a long time. It's, it's hard to shut somebody out. I don't really care who it is. You know, so um, it is what it is. You know, we really play Scheduled on our on our schedule, and just like I've always said, and I don't uh, take anything for granted. And so I just it's just a good, solid, consistent performance. Is what I categorize. I'm not gonna you know maybe that anything more than what it was, but uh, uh, you're playing uh, you know a football game and you gotta execute. And so I've been a part of those games and they become very, very frustrating you know, when you don't execute and, and uh, things don't go the way you want it to. You get very, very frustrated by the way you perform because you weren't focused and you weren't. Or execute to the same you know, established in the program. So, to me, once again, I'm not going to overreact about uh, the outcome of the fact that it's everyone's important and uh, got better from last week. So, we just got to continue that climb and make progress from week two to week three. How do you feel about the running game? And, and you see how it's improved there? For you guys? It's better. You know, I haven't really even looked at the numbers yet, but just from watching it, you can tell it's quite a bit different. So, uh, but at the same time, we're going to continue working. And, uh, we're still kind of going through it, you know, you don't have a lot of body work on certain people and what they're going to do, what they jump in and out of. And so, uh, but I thought there was a good push uh, that we need to get and uh, the backs ran hard. And we just got to keep working on that to me. It's always going to be, you know, big deal. You got to run the football. You, know, you got to stop on, on these things. So that's, that's a huge part of it. Matt and Jim. You only had one carry, but, uh, but uh, the Cole Gas had, had a touchdown on that carry. He's coming back from, from the second season of the injury of his career. What do you think of how he's been able to come back with a lot more competition in that? Point There's no question, you know, uh, there's several guys in that room that can do something with the football when they have their hand. And so you know, he's one of those guys. He's a very talented young man. And so just being able to, for him to get back, percent, feel confident in his, uh, in his knee and where he's at. We just need everybody. We need everybody. You know, we need, we need to understand that. And so he's got to continue to be more, more comfortable with what he's doing in his role. Catch the ball out of the backfield and executes the, the calls and the, the blitz pickups, all things he has to do in his position. So it's just uh, those guys are obviously fighting and competing for, for touches and opportunities, and he's one of them. Jim and then Pete. With the way the game uh, unfolded, a lot of guys got to see some action today, but also Michael didn't get as many reps. Would you rather spend a game where he actually played more going into a game next week? Well, just felt like it was uh, real important to get Pete some snaps this year. system for him too, you know, even though he's good at 
So I just think that uh, Michael was doing a good job. We felt comfortable with where he was at. And he got the whole game under his belt and you know, half of this game. And so I just want to keep everybody fresh and healthy. And the less hits, the better. And so I just think things are really with Steve. You know, so we got to get number eight out of the game, you know. And so, uh, but uh, it's just a matter of just trying to get everybody you know, comfortable and ready. And, Heck of a catch. Heck of a run. Both plays were very impressive. You're right. I did. I think he did. The sideline fed off of it. Just the effort he gave on that one run. It just was not going to be denied. It was not going to go down. And he, he just uh, you know, he, it really hurt us last year in Austin. I can't really say that enough. And so having him back healthy and making that kind of play that he made, you know, on a big third down and kind of throwing it was. But just those plays that just spark your offense. It, it changes everything, you know. And so I just think that he's he can provide that. You know, you gotta, you know, he's not very big. He's really strong, and he's got a ton of grit. He's tougher than So that's the kind of guy that, that, that we love here. And he's got a lot of fire in him too. You know, so, but uh, he's definitely <coughs> one of our playmakers on offense, and we need to, to keep him there. Exactly. Well, it's obviously not, you can't judge it perfectly. But I think it's 15 tackles for loss and five sacks. Um, from your defense in front of these first two weeks, is it at least as, as comfortable as you can be with it going to Ohio State next weekend, given when you maybe didn't feel like you knew for sure about Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, we all we all know that uh, um, Ohio State looks a lot different, you know, up front the, uh, the last two weeks. So, uh, fully <coughs> uh, I think that anything else that we have to start getting all these guys in those, like, if you weren't getting those plays against these first two opponents, you'd be so I think the bottom line is, is that uh, you know, we're seeing the progress. Now you got to go do it against you know the top five teams in the country. You know? So, but uh, obviously we did it the last couple of weeks. Got to keep working hard. Uh, the, the scheme is, is, is what we do, is what we believe in, and, and uh, I just thought we played a lot more confidence today. You know, I just wanted our guys to to, to feel that, to, to get off the field in those three and outs. I'm happy we had it. You know, our third downs were they, they, they didn't convert many on third downs, and that's huge. <coughs> All about third downs. You know, one day we didn't, we didn't get a takeaway, you know, so we, we, we broke that streak we had going. But uh, uh, if we could catch, we wouldn't cry head up. One bounced off, I think, three different guys. You know, I was going to jump up there myself and catch it, but they weren't going to catch it. But uh, that was our one for sure chance, you know, to get one. But hey, they, they uh, um, some of those come, they come in bunches. Well, um, so kids are playing hard, and the defense is being disruptive, and except getting sacks and, and tackles for loss. And that's what we want to be able to play on the other side of the last scrimmage of our college. And so that's where we're not the biggest team on defense, but we've got good quickness and speed and that to be our strength. Matt and Caleb. I kind of all that about the defensive front of guys is pretty really active today. James said the last year you guys started with the whole position, moved him over, and he's playing that again some this year. How nice is it to have that guy with that kind of ability who can flip flop and make plays mm -hmm. on either side of the Yeah, it's line. important, you know, because that, that uh, you know, anytime you got a guy that's personal, it really helps you. That way, if somebody gets injured, you can, you know, flip them over there. And, and uh, some certain positions, guys are kind of locked into what they do, skill set wise. But he's got enough twitch to play weak side in. He's got enough size and mass to play the strong side as well. So that gives us a great advantage for him. And uh, we've got to mod modify some things in our system to where we kind of allow the guy, a guy, to play both spots easier. Uh, but he not all can do it. So he definitely on the hook. He needs to, to keep elevating his play. Hey, look, I said you wanted to get Ramsey reps. Was there any thought to keep Hanks in the first with a possible two minute drill just to get him um, that? No, because I wanted, I wanted, uh, I felt like last week we got two, two minute situations that we executed really well in that game. And I wanted to have Peyton in there doing one with this group, with this offense, with the <clears throat> new offense coordinator. It was kind of, I thought it was a good time to get him in there. It was obviously a short drive. You know, as a matter of fact, I was yelling for um, Ronnie to get out of bounds. And then when I realized he was, you know, Probably gonna score. I'm like, you know, no, stay in bounds, go score. <laughs> so I'm like, yes, 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 no, no, no. But uh, uh, just uh, so yeah, obviously it was much quicker than we expected. But uh, it's quick test. So, but that, that was the thought process. It gave him a chance to execute it you know, in a game. He's done in practice, done in the past. But uh, he's trying to get both guys ready to roll. Uh, a lot of guys saw the field for the first time today. Jack Teller took his first snaps quarterback. Uh, Charles Campbell had a tremendous kick, uh, 48 yards. Samson James getting in the end zone as well. I guess what is it like for you to see a lot of these 
kind of new guys really being able to get their first playing experience for the first time and see if get out. And I guess, what did you like? It's pretty cool. You guys? know, I had uh, Samson and said, hey, you guys have your first touchdown, any more to come. And the same with Charles. He gets a 48-yard field goal on his first field goal with us. It was a little low, but it was still a great, great kick. That's a tough one to uh, have a chance. But their goal was to get him. You know, we're saying, hey, let's at least get an extra point or two to let him kick. And it's already redshirted. So at this point, you know, it's, uh, that's in the past. And so have two good kickers, you're going to need them all, you know, and so he would uh, just have a chance to go do that, and all these young guys out there for the first time, and you're just proud of them, you know, you recruit them, you get to know them really well, you know their families, and, and they come here to, to make plays. And there's some guys we, we intentionally didn't play because we're trying to use their four games at the right time, and so there's some freshmen that some may have thought should have played or couldn't play, or why didn't they play well. That was by design. We had to talk to those guys, make sure they understood it. They knew the big picture we we're trying to do. We we're just trying to be able to maximize those four games at the right time for certain guys. So, so that's where some that may have you know, you might not questioned them why they didn't get it. Who knows? My last one. Is there anything that stands out to you, positive or negative, about playing this game right before the Ohio State? Oh, I mean, the positive would just be to just to be able to get in a rhythm of confidence from, from a week one opponent, you know, and trying to clean those things up like we already said. I think that's the, the obvious one. But the negative is you're not you're not going against the same, you know, it's gonna be a pretty significant difference, you know, in a lot of ways, you know. So but hey, we've opened the season against Ohio State before, so we went from no games to game one. So it is what it is. Like I will continue to say I don't make the schedule. We just adapt to what we get and who we're supposed to play next. So the Buckeyes are coming to town. Right. Elio players in the way.